simplifying expressions using the distributive property and combining like terms. This should be review. It's good to go over it. Distributive property is first. If we have a problem like example 1, 3 times the quantity x minus 4, you have to use the distributive property to get rid of those uh, parentheses. We do that by distributing the 3 with multiplication because it's 3 times all that stuff. So we have 3 times x and 3 times 4. So it becomes 3x minus 12. Notice that minus sign stays the same. So example 2, I have negative 4 times the quantity y plus 5. Again, we distribute with multiplication. So we bring that negative 4 through. So it's negative 4 times y and negative 4 times 5. So it becomes negative 4y plus a negative 20. Be careful with that. It's negative 4 times 5. It has to be a negative answer. You can write it this way or just negative 4y minus 20. We have another example, 3. This time I have a negative number on the outside. It's negative 3 times the quantity 2y minus 12. Remember I distribute the negative 3 using multiplication. So it's negative 3 times that 2y and negative 3 times a, basically a negative 12. So it's going to become negative 6y plus 36. Next, combining like terms. If we have an expression like this, example 4, x plus x plus x plus x plus x plus x, the question really is, how many x's are there? We want to combine those terms. So it turns out I have 6, so I'd write it as 6x. That's how we're going to combine our terms. We're just gathering them together. So example 5, I have 3x plus 14 minus 7x plus 7. I want to combine the variables and the constants. My variables are the 3x and the negative 7x. I want to add those together. My constants are the 14 and the 7. So 3x plus negative 7x gives me negative 14x. 14 plus 7 gives me 21. So my answer is negative 4x plus 29. Let's take a look at example 6. It's ne positive 8y minus 13 plus 2y minus 5y plus 10. I've got y's all over the place. I want to combine them. I'm going to combine the variables and the constants. So 8y plus 2y is 10y. And then I minus 5y. So I'm left with a 5y. Negative 13 plus 10 gives me a negative 3. Let's take a look at example 7. Which is 7a minus 3 plus 4b minus 12 plus 3a. So again, I want to combine the variables and the constants. I'm going to combine my a's. I have 7a and 3a. My b's, all I have is 4b. It's going to stay the same. And I have my constants, negative 3 and negative 12. So all together it becomes 10a plus 4b minus 15. Now it's your turn. Try to simplify these. Number 7 is 8 times the quantity z plus 2. So you'll use distributive property. Number 8 is 9y minus 21 plus 11y minus 13. You want to combine like terms there. Number 9 is 14a minus 18b plus 6a plus 17 minus 2b. Combine your like terms. And number 10 is 5 times the quantity negative 2x minus 7. So you want to distribute there. Go ahead and pause as long as you need to solve these on your own. And next, we're going to check answers. So for number 7, you should have gotten 8z plus 16. Number 8, simplified to 20y minus 34. Number 9, simplifies to 20a minus 20b plus 17. And number 10, you distribute and you get negative 10x minus 35. So if you have questions, again, please watch the video, see what you catch again. Check the other resources on the website. There's the address. And as always, see Mr. Banyas or I before school. We would love to help, but we always need to know if you have questions. So let us know. Thanks so much.